As we saw after 9-11, military combat has moved from open battlefields to mainly urban settings, cities, villages, and buildings. It's all about urban warfare at the end of the day. There are no more divisions of tanks one against another or air forces or ships. For a better understanding, CBN News met a top Israeli general and Ron Paz of the Israeli government press office at Se'alim base camp near Gaza. Here the Israeli Defense Forces, or IDF, built an urban setting many blocks wide and long. It mimics the real locales where they're fighting their main foes of today, terrorists and guerrilla fighters. Here we're walking through an entire simulated Arab city where Israeli soldiers can practice. It has everything from minarets to high-rises. There's even appropriate graffiti for if you were in a city where real terrorists live. Guerrilla is hiding behind human shields in places just like that. And the challenge, how do you separate between militants that are dressed up as civilians and the innocent people that, God forbid, we want to have any, any of them harmed, this is exactly the facility that's supposed to have you trained for that assignment. Paz insists the troops fighting in Janine recently were so well trained, they caused absolutely no collateral damage, killed no civilians. It was for sure the first large-scale operation that ended up with zero civil casualties. And this is remarkable. It's unprecedented. The Janine is a great evidence what we are trying to do. We are trying to kill the enemy without hurting any, anyone else. Still, the IDF faced international criticism and media scrutiny over charges of child killing in Janine. Paz points out, though, those supposed children killed were three gun-toting young militants in their late teens. If a 17-year-old shoots at you, he's a terrorist, or he's a gunman, or he's a militant, or you want to call him freedom fighter, go ahead. <laughs> Nevertheless, he, if he's not killed, he will kill. So what do you call a 17-year-old that, that shoots to kill? Watching and hearing about the training of IDF soldiers, including his own son, Paz sees how they learn to soberly consider the power of life and death that's in their hands. That their training has been involved, very serious and thorough lecturing about ethics and about when you can and cannot open fire. Some of that was recently shared with a group of international media at Say Alim. The first thing we got at this base was a lecture by an Israeli general on what the Israeli soldiers are taught about ethics. Like this crucial life-saving motto General Bensi Gruber shared. And you can use force only against your enemy, and if you have a doubt, no doubt, don't shoot. He said some Israeli soldiers have actually gone to jail for abuses of force. While on the other side, the terrorists are celebrated for their killings and their families have been paid for them. Next, the media toured places on base which give specialists like snipers maximum practice with absolutely no danger. We're used to the idea that pilots have flight simulators. Here on this base, they have combat simulators. Extremely high-tech binoculars and advanced weapons allow troops to hit simulated urban targets precisely, surgically. Then General Gruber led us to an adventure underground, hiking through an elaborate copy of a Hamas terrorist tunnel. Okay, follow me. So this is a tunnel to simulate the actual real tunnels that Hamas has built. And imagine being in here and being under fire from terrorists. That's what the Israeli soldiers are training for in a place like this. There's an actual case of where terrorists had kidnapped Israeli soldiers and taken them into a tunnel like this. And other Israeli soldiers had to follow them in and fight. And can you imagine bullets flying around in a place this tight and this concrete? Just think of the ricochets. And try to imagine what it is to fight inside a place like this. And here we are, coming out the other side. That place is spooky. But spooky or not, the training goes on here so the IDF can strike back fiercely against its foes, but do it with a moral edge. Paul Strand, Ze'alim Base Camp, near Gaza.